2 Kings chapter 15 In the twenty-seventh year of Jeroboam king of Israel, Azariah son of Amaziah king of Judah began to reign. He was sixteen years old when he became king, and he reigned in Jerusalem fifty-two years. His mother's name was Jecholiah. She was from Jerusalem. He did what was right in the eyes of the Lord, just as his father Amaziah had done. The high places, however, were not removed. The people continued to offer sacrifices and burnt incense there. The Lord afflicted the king with leprosy until the day he died, and he lived in a separate house. Jotham, the king's son, had charge of the palace and, the, and governed the people of the land. As for the other events of Azariah's reign and all he did, are they not written in the book of the annals of the kings of Judah? Azariah rested with his fathers and was buried near them in the city of David, and Jotham his son succeeded him as king. In the thirty-eighth year of Azariah king of Judah, Zechariah son of Jeroboam became king of Israel in Samaria and he reigned six months. He did evil in the eyes of the Lord as his father had done. He did not turn away from the sins of Jeroboam son of Nebat which he had caused Israel to commit. Shalom son of Jebash conspired against Zechariah. He attacked him in front of the people assassinated him and succeeded him as king. The other events of Zechariah's reign are written in the book of the annals of the kings of Israel. So the word of the Lord spoken to Jehu was fulfilled. Your descendants will sit on the throne of Israel to the fourth generation. Shalom, son of Jebesh, became king in the thirty-ninth year of Uzziah king of Judah, and he reigned in Samaria one month. Then Men Menahem son of Gadi went to Terza up to Sam went from Terza up to Samaria. He attacked Shalom, son of Jebesh in Samaria, assassinated him, and succeeded him as king. The other events of Shalom's reign and the conspiracy he led are written in the book of the annals of the kings of Israel. At that time Menahem started out from Terza, attacked Tifsa and everyone in the city and its vicinity because they refused to open their gates. He sacked Tifsa and ripped open all the pregnant women. In the 39th year of Azariah king of Judah Menahem son of Gadi became king of Israel and he reigned in Samaria ten years. He did evil in the eyes of the Lord. During his reign he did not turn away from the sins of Jeroboam son of Nebat which he had caused Israel to commit. Then Pul king of Assyria invaded the land and Menahem gave him a thousand talents of silver to gain his support and strengthen his, his own hold on the kingdom. Menahem um, exacted, this money, exacted this money from Israel. Every wealthy man had to contribute 50 shekels of silver to be given to the king of Assyria. So the king of Assyria withdrew and stayed in the land no longer. As for the other events of Manahem's reign and all he did, are they not written in the book of the annals of the kings of Israel? Manahem rested with his fathers, and Pekahiah his son succeeded him as king. In the fifteenth year of Azariah king of Judah, Pekahiah son of Menahem became king of Israel. In Samaria and he reigned two years. Pekahiah did evil in the eyes of the Lord. He did not turn away from the sins of Jeroboam son of Nebat 
which he had caused Israel to commit. One of his chief officers, Pekah, son of Ren Remaliah, conspired against him, taking 50 men of um, Gilead with him. He assassinated Pekahiah along with Argob and Aria in the citadel of the royal palace at Samaria. So Pekah killed Pekahiah and succeeded him as king. The other events of Pekahiah's reign and all he did are written in the book of the annals of the kings of Israel. In the 52nd year of Azariah, king of Judah, Pekah, son of Ramaliah, became king of Israel in Samaria, and he reigned 20 years. He did evil in the eyes of the Lord. He did not turn away from the sins of Jeroboam, son of Nebat, which he had caused Israel to commit. In the time of Pekah, son of Israel, Tiglath Pileser, king of Assyria came and took Ejon, Abel Beth Meka, Janoa, Kadesh and Heza. He took Gilead in Galilee, Galilee, yeah, Galilee, including all the land of Naphtali, and deported the people to Assyria. Then Hosea, son of Elah, conspired against Pekah, son of Ramelia. He attacked and assassinated him, and then succeeded him as king in the twentieth year of Jotham, son of Uzziah. As for the other events of Pekah's reign, and all he did, are they not written in the book of the annals of the kings of Israel? In the second year of Pekah, son of Remaliah's king of Israel, Jotham, son of Uzziah, king of Judah, began to reign. He was 25 years old when he became king and he reigned in Jerusalem 16 years. His mother's name was Jerusha, daughter of Zadok. He did what was right in the eyes of the Lord, just as his father Uzziah had done. The high places, however, were not removed. The people continued to offer sacrifices and burn incense there. Jotham rebuilt the upper gate of the temple of the Lord. As for the other events of Jotham's reign and what he did, are they not written in the book of the annals of the kings of Judah? In those days the Lord began to send Rezin, king of Aram, and Pekah, son of Remaliah, against Judah. Jotham rested with his fathers and was buried with them in the city of David the city of his father, and Ahaz, his son, succeeded him as king.